Fishnet Bible Stories proudly presents Jacob's Children Many years ago, Sarah's womb was closed. She was desperate and filled with woe. Sarah knew that Hagar, her servant, was strong and young. She had Hagar marry Abraham so they could have a son. Years later, God saw that Jacob loved Rachel, not Leah. He had compassion for Leah and opened her womb. Leah gave Jacob four sons, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah. But Rachel's womb was closed and she was filled with gloom. Rachel became so jealous, she felt that she could die. She was desperate and would bitterly cry. Rachel told Jacob, Take Bilhah my servant as your wife, so she could bear you a son for me. Through Bilhah my servant, we could build a family. Jacob took Bilhah as his wife, and she had Dan and Naphtali. When Leah stopped having babies, she felt small in Jacob's eyes. Leah was desperate and would bitterly cry. She said to Jacob, Take Zilpah, my servant, as your wife, so she could bear more sons for me. Through Zilpah, my servant, we could build a bigger family. Jacob took Zilpah as his wife, and to the family she added two sons. Their names were Gad and Asher, but Leah was not yet done. Leah cried to God, and he answered her plea. He opened her womb again, and she was so very happy. Leah had Issachar and Zebulun, her last two sons. Finally, she had her daughter, Dinah, and then she was done. Then God remembered Rachel, and he answered her plea. He opened Rachel's womb, and she was so happy. She bore a son named Joseph, and years later she bore another. Joseph was the son of Jacob's old age, and later on he would have a younger brother. Thanks for watching. This was part 10 of Jacob and Esau's story in our Genesis series. Check out our website, fishnetbiblestories.com, for slideshows of all our stories, coloring sheets, lesson plans, and of course, our Bible story videos. Have a great day. Bye.